Yesterday, the Constitutional Court issued an interim order that banned all defiance activities for one month until when court will begin hearing the main petition. The orders by Kavma followed an expert argument of an application for interim orders by the Deputy Attorney General, Mwesi Gwarukutana. But FDC's former presidential candidate, Dr. Chiza Besija, argues that Justice Kavma's ruling is legally flawed. It's not like heaven was about to collapse on earth, that there was such an emergency that people who are in town cannot be summoned and heard. That means, I think, that he has given a license to the criminal police to come back here and continue what they were doing. Dr. Besige told journalists at his home in Kasangati that Article 43 of the Constitution, which limits the enjoyment of rights and other liberties, was misinterpreted by the Deputy Chief Justice. Restriction on our rights is simply capricious. It does not answer to the dictates of the Constitution. And to that extent, that ruling is unjust. And is one of the things that we shall defy. The retired colonel claims that government is acting out of panic after FDC declared countrywide protests barely a week before President Seven is sworn in on May 12. Article 43 of the Constitution says that the enjoyment of rights of a person can be restricted in an event that his enjoyment infringes on the rights of others. And that has always been an argument between the opposition and police, which also argues that it must oversee the enjoyment of those rights. And the public interest is very clearly described also. The public interest under this article shall not permit a political persecution, which is exactly what they are doing. What they are doing is clearly political persecution, specifically prohibited by the Constitution. B. Detention without trial. Detention without trial is exactly what the police was engaged in here. Besija, who says he has been rigged out of the elections four times, claims that he has evidence that the election was rigged, but government has shunned his idea of establishing an independent audit under the auspices of international observers. We have a marauding group of people who simply do not care about what their constitution says. Besige revealed that they are yet to receive a copy of the ruling so that they can challenge it in the Supreme Court. Among the activities which the Constitutional Court banned include court proceedings of Besige's case against the government over the infringement of his right to associate after he was put under house arrest for 40 days. The order also bans weekly prayers which the party has been holding at its offices. Sometimes I wonder whether I'm living in the, you know, in the right country or at the right time, you know. I can't believe, you know, that a person in 2016 can sit anywhere and order that people should not pray. <laughs> you know, can you imagine? Uh, he has stopped even media briefings. Pastor David Ngabo has been leading prayers, scoffed at the court ruling he says is draconian. I, as a clergyman, I will not take his orders, but I want him to take my orders and reverse the verdict if he wants peace, not with me this time, but with God who sent me. You see, for a number of times, leaders have exerted power and they have proved that they are stronger than God. But this time, the way Uganda is going, God is shifting the country back to himself. I asked the pastor who believes that the pursuit for justice is everyone's responsibility on whether he will attend prayers next week at the FDC offices. I'm not a, a scared of being arrested. And if my arrest is going to set Uganda free, be it. Come Tuesday, I call upon Ugandans to come and pray. We will pray. Prayer cannot be stopped. They can stop whatsoever they want, but they cannot stop prayer. And they have no right 
to stop a man to marry a woman he wants. Or a woman to get married to a man he wants. This is where Uganda is going. That we will even enter into your house and determine how you use your cup in the house. Sudilvia Rhanga, NTV.